What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to give my predictions on the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs for 2020 for round two. Now a lot of the teams that advanced are ones that I do enjoy, except three teams that advanced. I don't really want to see them to get the cup this year. All the rest look like they're going to be good, so it looks like it's going to be really close matchups this time. So once again, I'm going to start in the Western Conference. Up first is Vegas Golden Knights versus Vancouver Canucks. Now this one here, I wouldn't mind it going either way personally. Vegas was doing great against Chicago. I actually think I predicted Chicago was going to advance because I expected a little bit more out of them. However, Vegas proved that they were the best team. But for Vancouver... I was tied with Vancouver versus St. Louis Blues because I didn't mind either team advancing. So St. Louis Blues didn't do as good as I thought they were going to do. Vancouver advanced, which I'm fine with. But Vancouver versus Vegas is going to be a really hard one. Surprisingly, in the first round, I did predict that some of the matches would go down to the very last game. In the first round, none of that happened. So for this matchup here, because I think it's going to be so close... My prediction is it's going to be going down to the final game, and I'm going to say it's going to be it's going to be really close. So I'm going to say Vegas is going to advance. Vegas is going to win this series, and it's going to be 4-3 down to the final game. But again, if Vancouver advanced, because I'm Canadian, I would love that either way. The next matchup is one match. That's the first game already was tonight, which I'm okay with, so I'm a little late putting out this video as far as putting it out before round two started. But that is Colorado Avalanche versus Dallas Stars. Now, at this time, I didn't look at any of the highlights or anything. But I do know Dallas won. I believe it was 5-3. This series here, Dallas, in my opinion, Dallas is one of the teams that I don't really care to win the Cup this year. I'm not really familiar with the team. Don't know how many people or how many good players they have. I just don't know who is on the team, to be honest with you. Colorado, on the other hand... I do follow, and I think with a lot of their rookies, they're going to do great. Now, tonight, they didn't do as good as I hoped. But for this matchup here, I would like to see Colorado advance. And I'm going to say it's going to be 4-2. I think even though Dallas won the first game, I think Colorado is going to come back and hopefully come back strong. Now, again, I didn't look at the highlights tonight, so I'm not sure what Colorado did for this game performance-wise. But I'm really hoping they make a comeback in advance. I wouldn't mind seeing them take the cup again. Um, I just don't really care about Dallas too much. And I don't know who's on the team right now. So I can't really make a whole judgment call on them. So for this one here, like I said, 4-2 for Colorado. Now going over to the East Coast. Some of these are really, really close. And some of them are going to be interesting. So the first one here, I'll do the one that I don't really care about so much. There's Tampa Bay Lightning versus Boston Bruins. You guys know with the first round, and I think I talked about it during the qualifiers, I absolutely hate the Boston Bruins, but I expected them to do good in this year's playoffs because every year they are really aggressive, and I think they are capable of advancing in this series. But Tampa Bay Lightning, I didn't really want them to win, to be honest with you. I really wanted Columbus to win, so the fact that Columbus lost 4-1, I was not happy with that, but I know their rookie goalie, the goalie that I really liked against Toronto, got injured and didn't get to play in a lot of the games against Tampa Bay, which is okay. So Tampa Bay versus Boston Bruins. Again, I don't really want either team to win the Cup this year, to be honest with you, but I would like to see Tampa Bay Lightning advance, even though I think Boston Bruins, if they play as aggressive as usual, I think Boston could advance. I'm going to say Tampa Bay just because I wouldn't mind them winning the cup um, between Boston and them. I, any other team I'd rather than Tampa Bay, but between Boston and Tampa Bay Lightning, I'm going to say Tampa Bay Lightning. I'm going to say this one because I think it's going to be really, really close. I'm going to say it's going to go down to the last game 4-3 for Tampa Bay because I know Boston will play aggressive. And the last matchup here is two that were really shocking for me. That is New York Islanders. They actually beat out the Washington Capitals 4-1, which was amazing to see. I really think they have a real good chance of winning the Cup this year. They're facing in the second round Philadelphia Flyers, which is one of my picks to actually win all of the Cup this year. So that is definitely going to be interesting if they can pull it off. But to have two of my top contenders for winning the Cup this year 
facing off only in the second round. I'm not really sure what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. On one hand, I hope both teams, either one would be okay with me if they were to advance. I just hope that whoever does advance moves on and actually wins the cup this year. I would love to see Philadelphia Flyers. They are my second team, one of my favorite teams. And New York Islanders, because of Pajot and a lot of the other teammates, I think they could do well too. So this one here, it's really close, and I'm okay with it going either way, as long as whoever wins this series moves on and actually wins the cup this year and hoists it up. I think that'd be awesome. Personally, I'm going to say Philadelphia Flyers all the way. I'm going to say Philadelphia since I think this is going to be a really close match, and I'm okay with that because I want to see as many games as I can for this series with these two teams. I'm going to say Philadelphia Flyers 4-3. Again, right down to the last game. But it's all of the predictions for the first round when I talked about games that I thought would be really close and go down to the last game. None of them did. None of the games went down to the last game in the first round. There, some of them were 4-1 and some of them were 4-2. No clean sweeps, which was interesting. I thought some of them were going to be. So this one here, even though I don't think there's going to be any clean sweeps in this series because some are going to be really close... You never know. Surprises do happen. So this is my predictions as of right now for the second round of the playoffs. Who my picks are to advance to the finals as of right now with the current standing going into the second round. I'm going to say Philadelphia Flyers for the East Coast could be making it to the finals this year. And it's going to be really close with the West Coast. But I'm going to say Vegas. I think they have a real good chance this year. So I would like to see Vegas versus Philadelphia in the finals. But we will see right now, it's only the second round and anything can happen. Having Washington get eliminated as quickly as they can and Columbus and uh, Phoenix Coyotes, that one was shocking to me. So I am going to leave this video here. Comment down below what your predictions are for the second round and who you think is going to win the cup this year. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.